Okay, this is the uh, TSP lecture on the two approximation algorithm. We'll click on that one. Okay, so I'll go ahead and run these cells to create our instance that we're going to be handling. Okay, so our first step in the two approximation algorithm is to find a minimum spanning tree, which I'm going to call as T. And I will use this network X function called minimum spanning tree. And I'll need to pass the graph itself. I'm trying to find a spanning tree in. And I'll need to specify that the edge weights are based off of what attribute associated with the edges. And in my case, I've stored the at the cost or length of these edges under that length name. So I'll run that. And so very quickly, you'll see it finds a minimum spanning tree. And if I wanted to, I could draw this. So I want to draw a T, that tree T. Um, and just so that it matches <clears throat> this instance up here, because I'm picking edges here, I'll use those same positions. So let's run that. Okay. So there's a minimum spanning tree. So this is the first step. <clears throat> now the second step is essentially to double these edges. So anytime that you have one edge between them, just replace it or add another edge between those same two nodes. Um, or we can also just replace each of these undirected edges by oppositely directed edges. So there's a really easy way to do that in network X. I just say nx dot graph, and I just pass it the graph that I'm trying to take, or trying to get the directed version of it. Okay, and then I can draw this one. Again, I'll keep the the nodes, so the nodes are the same in all of these graphs. I'll keep those in the same positions. Uh oh, I should have done the directed version of T. OK, so you'll see that each one of these undirected edges has been replaced by two edges, two directed edges, one going this way and one going that way. OK. Next up, we're going to find a so-called Eulerian cycle. And so what this is going to do is we're going to we're going to start at a node and essentially we'll just follow the edges. Keep going until we reach a dead end and then it'll backtrack and then it hasn't been this way, so it'll go that way. And it'll trace this all again and then this juncture here, it'll come down over here come back back out and back and then go all the way back to the starting point. And during that that cycle that I made going through all of those vertices, I have crossed all of the edges exactly once. So the length of that tour is actually twice that length of that spanning tree because I've crossed each of these spanning tree edges once going this way and once going that way. So to get that Eulerian cycle, all this network x dot Eulerian, they call it circuits. I'll pass the graph that I want the cycle from, which is D, this directed one. And I'm just going to suppose that I start my tour at node zero, wherever that is in, in this tree. I'm not exactly sure. OK. Um, and actually, because of the output format of this function, I need to I need to, I, I would like it as a list, so I just cast it as a list. My initial tour. Okay, so you'll see it goes 0, 17, 17, 0, 0, 11, 11, 2, 2 to 9, 9 to 3, 3 to 16, and so on. Okay. So this, you'll see that every one of these edges from my spanning tree is, is 
appears twice in here. So like that edge 0, 6, it appears as 0, 6 and also as 6, 0. OK. So, but this is not uh, a TSP tour. So it's not because it visits some of these nodes multiple times. So if I started here and I did my Eulerian cycle and I came all the way out here, and once I reached this point and came back, this node right here would have been visited a second time. And so in that case, what I'm going to do is skip over it. So instead of going from here to here to here, it's part of my Eulerian cycle, I'm going to go here directly to here. And when I do that, I'm only paying the cost of that edge that's actually not part of the spanning tree. Um, but because of triangle inequality, that edge going from here to here has a, a cost that's less than that of this little edge plus this bigger edge. So essentially, I'm taking a shortcut and avoiding repeating that node. And then after I've gotten here, I guess the Eulerian cycle would come all the way back here again and follow all of those edges, but I'm going to shortcut it and I'm going to go to this one because that would be the next one in that cycle that hasn't yet been visited. And that I just keep doing that, kind of skipping over any of the nodes that I've already visited. So, in terms of the code, I can do it like this I'll start my tour at node zero. And then for each of these edges in my initial tour, this kind of Eulerian cycle, if the head of this arc, which is J, if that J is not yet in my tour, um, then I'll add it to my tour. Otherwise, I'll just skip over it. It's tour. So it seems like it should go 0, 17. It'll skip this 0, then it'll go to 11, 11 to 2, 2 to 9, 9 to 3, 3 to 16. OK, and at a certain point, I should reach a node that I've already visited. Let's see where the first time that happens. OK, it looks like 18. So here's an 18 in the kind of the J position, and here's a, another 18. So this time that 18 appears, it'll skip over it. Okay, well, let's see. So yeah, 0, 17 to 11, to 2, 9, 3, 16, 19, 10, 18, and 18, I guess 13 to five, and then it actually would have gone back to 13 in the earlier in cycle, but we skip it here. So there's not another 13 after this five. Okay. So now we can draw our tour. So I guess first I need, what are the edges of the tour, which we've seen before I can get by doing this. Minus one, tour I. My tour. Yep, now I can draw this. Okay, so I'm drawing the subgraph induced by the tour edges. And I want to keep the nodes drawn in those same positions as before. OK. So there's the, the tour that I get from the two approximation algorithm. And you'll see that it's, it's still not a great tour. Um, I mean, this is not optimal. Um, but we do know, just as a result of this algorithm, we, we do know that this is at most twice the length of an optimal tour.